America, Iceland, and even Scotland. Now, these are places you think of when you're looking for epic gravel, not particularly Tuscany. Now, Tuscany is the birthplace of many pro cyclists such as Gino Bartali and Andrea Taffy. And it's known for its history, its beautiful landscapes, its amazing wines. But I'm gonna show you some epic gravel. Buongiorno. Now, I cannot start an Italian bike ride without a true Italian cappuccino. Mmm, beautiful. Now, it's pretty much Italian law that you can't have a cappuccino after midday, so I kind of got to squeeze it in now. Now, to do this ride, I'm starting on the lesser known southwest corner of Tuscany. But let me tell you, it's no lesser beautiful. I mean, check this out. <sighs> Perfect. Oh. My route starts and ends in the coastal town of Falonica, in the Italian region of Tuscany. I start with 10 kilometers of beautiful coastal gravel tracks before heading east into the hills. Some sharp, steep gravel climbs come thick and fast before arriving at Caldena. With 30 kilometers covered and some nice smooth tarmac to enjoy, it is then onto some more gravel roads where I weave through the vineyards and olive groves before starting my journey back to Falonica. This route is just shy of 90 kilometers and 1,450 meters of climbing. of my gravel ride here in Tuscany is uphill, but I'm heading into the hills. Now the beauty of getting out into the woods is that it's shaded, meaning it's a lot cooler. One thing I would say is if you're heading out in Tuscany in the middle of the summer, it can get incredibly hot. So starting your ride a bit earlier does pay dividends. But the beauty is you get these beautiful views through the trees. But tough, tough, tough climb to start with. Let's go. Now, when you're on a Tuscan gravel ride, it'd be rude not to stop and admire the view. I mean, check that out for an insane view. Unreal. Now, as we know, Tuscany is not just famous for its landscapes, as beautiful as they are, but it's also famous for its history. Now, a fact I have just learned is that the Italian language, as we know, shares a close relationship with Latin. Now, the modern language spoken today actually comes from the Toscano dialect, which is the Tuscan dialect. So not only is it famous for the views, but it's also famous for bringing on the language, which is actually pretty cool. It's something I'm still getting to grips with. Um, buongiorno, cappuccino, pizza. Um, buongiorno, cappuccino. Oh my God. Look at that for a view in the morning. Doesn't get much better than that. Maybe I'll stop by and say hello. If you're interested, the bike I'm riding today is the Orbea Terra, and I've kitted out with Italy's finest Campagnolo. Their home is just north of here in Vicenza. And their gravel group set is called the Eckar. It's the lightest gravel specific group set out there, in part because of the elegant simplicity of its mechanical shifting, honed over years of road cycling success. It feels like the perfect setup. 
while riding through the woods, I did notice some cork trees, and just by chance, I saw one of the guys harvesting some of the cork on the bark. And it's really cool, I've never really seen it in person. So this makes up the corks on their beautiful Tuscan wine. Hey, grazie mille, my friend. Thank you very much, I appreciate it. That was great. Have a good day, ciao. Italians, I love them, so friendly. Now, while planning this ride, what I didn't realize was that 65% of Tuscany is made up of hills and the other 25% is made up of mountainous areas, meaning you're going up and down the whole time. So if you are coming to Tuscany, make sure you pack a good ratio of gears because um, you might fall into the granny ring more than you expect. I have no granny ring to use as Eka is a single chain ring group set. But running out of gears is not a concern. Sadly, not through the strength of my legs, but I've got a nine to 42 tooth set with 13 gears. And the other thing I found out was that it also has some ski resorts, something I definitely didn't know. This thing is absolutely baking hot here. It's literally like 40 degrees. But what I love more about Tuscan views and the culture is their pizza and pasta. I mean, it doesn't get much better than Italian pizza and pasta. Ah. Lunch stop in the middle of the ride and I couldn't stop without tasting some Italian cuisine, some pasta. Now, I've got to say, I've always wanted to explore the gravel roads of Tuscany ever since my dad and I visited when we followed the Strada Bianchi race in a vintage Fiat 500. If you haven't seen that, then go check that out on GCM Plus. But this looks absolutely insane. Right, I'll let you know how it tastes. Seriously, pasta's made different here. It's absolutely unreal. Wherever you go in Tuscany, you're rewarded with some real hidden gems. And this ride is no objection. I mean, check this out. Now this monastery was built back in 1455 and it's still being used to this very day. I mean, it's Sunday today, so I've got to be slightly quiet because people are going in to worship. And worship and religion is the backbone of the Italian culture here, especially in the Tuscan area. It's just stunning though. Wow. the whole world to myself. Wow. As I've been exploring the gravel roads of Tuscany, I've been amazed to find out how fast they really are. Now you would have seen the white roads of Tuscany in races such as the Strato Bianchi race, but there's also a whole mix and variation. Now those white roads are made out of finely crushed limestone, but you've also got a mix of intermingled gravel, and you've also got some big chunks repurposed masonry. So it's probably not ideal for your road bike and some skinny tires, but get on some gravel tires and it's absolutely heavenly.
Now the difference to the gravel I'm used to at home is that it's not like rocky and muddy and rooty. This is really fast, really flowing, really smooth, and you can average like 35k an hour on quite rough gravel, which is absolutely perfect for doing a long ride, like 100k ride here in the depths of Tuscany. Now I can't keep stopping like this because I'm never gonna get to my destination, so it's time to get back on the bike. Have you ever seen a more Tuscan view than that? The white gravel roads lined with cypress trees. Now, cypress trees are actually a native tree to Tuscany, and they're very much a symbol to Tuscany too. I mean, absolutely stunning. And this view also reminds me of a famous film, my favorite film actually, Gladiator. My name is Maximus Decimus Meridius. Commander of the armies to the north, general to the Felix legions, and loyal servant to the true Emperor Marcus Aurelius. Father to murder son, husband to murder wife, and I will have my vengeance in this life or the next. I've always wanted to do that. <laughs> and do it in Tuscany. Now, Tuscany has been famous for films like Gladiator, and actually they're filming the second one right at this time, and also a James Bond movie that you might recognize, Quantum of Solace. Unfortunately, I didn't make it into the movie. Maybe next time. Being on gravel allows you to get off the beaten track and you go through some of these amazing vineyards if you're riding on the gravel here in Tuscany. And as we know, Tuscany is probably one of the most famous regions for wine throughout Europe. And you get these really beautiful dry red wines. So if you're looking for a sip of Chianti, then look no further to the region of Tuscany. But look at this, the grapes that are gonna be turned in to some really beautiful wine. You might even get a taste of Chianti. Proper, proper grapes from Tuscany. I mean, beautiful. I don't know if I'm allowed to taste one or what they'll taste like. Wow, they're sweet, really sweet. Well, wow, much sweeter than I was expecting. Unbelievable. Mm, thank you, Tuscany. Now, I've got to say, I've always wanted to do a proper Tuscan gravel ride, and I've absolutely loved taking you around with me. I hope you've enjoyed it as much as I have, and do let me know in that comment section below. And if you want more of these videos, then let me know by hitting that thumbs up button. And now I'm just gonna enjoy my rather melting donut ice cream. And I'll leave you with this. Are you not entertained? Sorry, guys. It's a gladiator phrase. Okay, cool. Wow. Sweet. <laughs>